Thank you, Presiding Officer. I'm deeply honoured to be standing here as the member of our Parliament for Strathkelvin and Bearsden, an area in which I've happily lived for 20 years. I promised the voters during the election campaign that I would work as hard as I possibly could for them if I was elected and be a strong voice in Holyrood as the representative, and I have every intention of doing that. I also feel deeply honoured, of course, to have been given the chance to play a part in taking Scotland forward as part of our progressive Scottish Government, and I will never take that privilege for granted. For me, taking Scotland forward means making life better for everyone, regardless of their background or status. I'm the granddaughter of an immigrant who came to Scotland from the south of Ireland when she was 18 and she couldn't read or write. But she was smart enough to know that to lift her children out of the poverty trap, they had to get an education, which would be their route to a better life. That's why I'm proud that our government has made an educational attainment its defining mission, giving every child a better start in life, especially those living in the most deprived areas. An additional, seven, an additional £750 million will go to those schools to raise attainment and go straight to head teachers. There will be attainment advisors in every local authority. In Strathkelvin and Bearsden, of course, I'm delighted that we have excellent high-performing schools. But of course, we all know that it's not a level playing field and that some children are not able to fulfil their potential for a variety of reasons. I want every town and city in Scotland to have high-performing schools. But equality for children starts even before they get to school, as many have said today. And many of the poorest children are already behind before they start school. So over the next five years, we'll see the transformational increase in the provision of free early learning and childcare to give children the best start in life, which help families and get more women back into work. There's no doubt that these prog progressive policies will take Scotland forward and reduce the attainment gap. The First Minister has spoken of reaching out across the political divide to achieve consensus on a range of issues that will take Scotland forward and make our country even better. That's why I'm dismayed and disappointed when I hear of the opposition party's intention to scrap two initiatives that attempt to do just that, namely the Offensive Behaviour Act and the Name Persons Act. The Name Persons Act in particular is legislation I passionately support. Having sat in the children's panel in the east end of Glasgow for the last six years, I'm appalled at the level of misinformation and scaremongering being disseminated by our opponents. This act is about child protection. It should not be portrayed as controversial or used as a political football. Over the last six years in the children's hearing system, I've seen toddlers who've had to be taught how to play because they've been ignored since the day they were born and babies who cry when they hear someone laugh because they think the shouting and violence around them is starting again. Presiding officer, they are the lucky ones. They are the ones who are in the system, who are being cared for and protected. So many more children slip through the net and this act is an extra layer of protection for them. Children's charities across the board are in favour of it, of it, so why don't those who are so against it listen to the people who are in the front line? Community empowerment is something else I strongly believe in, and over the past two weeks I've been meeting with community councils throughout the constituency. I've been amazed at the amount of work and time people put in just to make their community better. I've met people who can only be described as local heroes, without whom our society would only half function. That's why I'm pleased that through the Community Empowerment Act we will recognise the great work that they do and give them a voice. Tonight I've been asked to present certificates at a graduation ceremony for modern apprenticeships run by Tigers, whose head office is in Bishop Briggs in my constituency, and who have just won Growth Business and Overall Business of the Year at Eastern Bartonshire's annual business awards. I'm thrilled to be asked to do that because these are the young people that will take Scotland forward. They are our future, and I'm proud that our government has increased the number of modern apprenticeships and is building on progressive initiatives to get more young people into work. As a new MSP, I'm becoming aware of the great trust people have put in all of us to help them and the expectation on our shoulders to do that. I will take my lead from my former boss, Gil Patterson, who could not have set a better example for me to follow. I thank the voters of Strathkelvin and Bearsden for putting their trust in me and I will do my utmost every day not to let them down.